Hello Virgo, I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach who helps sensitive, self-reflective souls choose maximum growth and a transformation. I have an intuitive message for you today about your journey. And to do something extra special for you for the new moon, I wanted to draw some extra information for you. So I'll do that at the end of the reading, so make sure to stick around. I I'm going to do an inside-outside reading where we'll look at your inner world, your outer world, and the relationship between the two. Okay, so we're going left to right, Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups, Chariot, and Chirunos. Okay, so right away, Virgo, we have some interesting things going on. You have this Ace of Cups on the inside with the Chariot. And normally, I would say that these two cards are not working together, but actually, I think for you, they are. Something in your heart really wants to overflow. The love just wants to come out. And it's important to realize that, you know, this is not really your love. This is love from the universe channeled through you that you are experiencing as a human soul. So what, what does that really mean? We don't really own the love that we feel. It's coming through us. It's really not created for us. But so, so what we're talking about here is a lot of flow, a lot of that divine connection. Okay, you're telling me no. I was asking a question about the meaning and they, they just told me no. So what this does though is it really has you wanting to move forward in a way that you have not wanted to feel or not been able to feel before so you know it could also be that you're feeling very divinely inspired or divinely supported but it's this energy of love that is pushing you and allowing you to really to look forward and to go forward to move now, we have something interesting in the outside. <laughs> um, okay, keep the cards like that, they're saying. Now, we had some kind of illusion going on here. This is that devil energy, the devil figure of delusion, self-illusion. Something you're telling yourself that's not true. And in the outside world, your involvement or engagement in that situation has ended, if not... Um, is coming to an end, if not has ended already. So, you know, in a way you're, I, I'm wondering also if this is a freedom um, from this energy, whether it was inside you or in another person, you're finally done with it. This is an energy that doesn't have your best interest at heart. It could be, um, it could be seen as a narcissistic kind of energy, one that only thinks about itself and doesn't think about others. But the point is that your interaction and relationship with it is done. And the double meaning of this card is also that you need to be clear about why it's ending and not delude yourself into thinking that it's something else. So there's a, there's a theme of honesty with this because as this ending has happened, we have this new beginning, the ace, waiting in the wings to really charge forward in a big way. My guides are saying to spend a little more time with the idea of love and what love truly is. So love is that, that force that is unconditional that no matter what happens, you still love, you still accept. But it doesn't mean love without, it doesn't mean none. <laughs> it doesn't mean lack of self-respect or lack of boundaries or lack of putting your own uh, well-being first because first comes self-love <laughs> and then comes the other forms of love. So. Any love you give to someone else really starts with the self. Your own cup has to be full of self-love for yourself before you can truly love someone else. It's a big misconception, especially in our culture, that you find love or love founds you or you found this love in another person or you receive love. That's really not how it works because 
Until you can love yourself, you cannot give or receive love. And it is embracing that idea that will allow you to move things in your life forward, to take those next steps, to get things in motion. Okay, so these, this period of lack of self-love is ending. Whatever situation you found yourself in that was expressing a lack of self-love is done. We want to move forward into this. I want to just check in and see if there's any other message they want to give you about these cards. You know, I see you moving very far away from this situation, this, this negative situation in the past. I'm wondering if they're also talking about physical diff distance, but it's almost like you're just, you know, vibrationally, you're moving very far away from what that was or who that was, and you're getting to a different place altogether. Okay, I think that's going to do it. My guys are saying to end. So let's look at what you'll be releasing and what you'll be embracing during this new moon time. Prince of Wands, so this is all about beliefs and study and learning. So I think this is about learning new things, going new places. So isn't it interesting that we were just talking about, I'm trying to find it, we were just talking about travel, going places. This card is definitely about going places for you. I do feel a travel energy with these. But travel can be internal as well, going to new places in your mind, understanding new concepts, entertaining new points of view. So releasing old points of view that are done, that are expired and extinct, and embracing new ones that allow growth and movement and excitement. That's what I see you embracing in the new moon. So Virgo, thanks so much for joining me. If you are ready to dive deeper and you'd like to look into an intuitive reading or perhaps even a soul guidance coaching with multiple sessions, Please check out my website, soulguidancewithadriana.com. Even if you don't, I'd love for you to check out the website, link in the description below, because I just uploaded new photos yesterday, and they're ones that I took, so they're not stock images. So I'd love to hear what you think, and I will look forward to seeing you next time, Virgo.